Hello guys and welcome back to another Hunters Prestige fitment video. On today's video we're going to be fitting the sunglass holder. Now this is actually different to what is on the market at the moment because we actually supply this as a whole unit. Now we have two different variations of it. We have the ebony and we also have the ivory. So let's get started on the fitment video. Okay, so these are the tools you're going to require for today's fitment. You're going to require a plastic or metal trim tool, a T8X50 Torx bit, a small flathead screwdriver, and some masking tape. Okay, so starting off, what you want to do first is actually put a bit of masking tape at the top of the headline where it reaches, reaches where the sunglass holder is going to go. Obviously, this is just to protect it from when you're using the trim tool. Uh, what we like to do is we like to put a little bit of masking tape on the end of our trim tool uh, that just makes sure that there's no sharp edges so obviously we don't want it to damage the headline uh, put your trim tool in one of the corners uh, we will start from the right hand side and what you want to do is you just want to pry that trim tool into the, where the sunglass holder is going to go and you should feel a gap behind it and just give it a little bit of a wiggle and it will pop down and then what you want to do is use the trim tool on the other side just to pry off that side also Now that's released, there's two retaining clips at the front holding that in place. Uh, but what we want to do first is just remove the two wires attaching it. So you've got one on the right hand side and one on the left. Um, we do rotate the um, sunglass holder just to get it out. Obviously here you go, these are the two connectors that you need to remove. There is little release pins on the back of them just holding them into the connectors. Okay, now that's done, we're going to be swapping over the components now from the old unit to the new unit. And the first thing you want to do is just to release the speakers as shown here and here. For this, we use the flathead screwdriver. Obviously, we have a small one, but if you have a slightly large one, that's not a problem at all. Um, there are some retainers just basically holding the speakers in place. Just want to pry them off. You should be able to see them. And they do come out quite easily. What we do is just lift up the wire to help it come out easy, like so. And there's one on the other side as well. There we go. And we just pull that wire up loose as well. There are two more speakers just at the top. Um, these are much smaller than the front ones, but they're very, very easy to get out. So we just use the screwdriver at the back just to pry it off a little bit. There's two retainers holding them in. Okay, now they're out, just make sure they're all loose. Now you grab your Torx screwdriver and you just want to release the four Torx bolts shown here. They are quite small, so make sure you keep them in the same place so you don't lose them. Okay, so release the wires shown like so and that top component will now come out you just want to lift it up because there's some more torque screws that we need to remove and there's eight that we need to remove as shown here Okay, now that's loose, you can remove the whole unit. And we're gonna transfer that over shortly. Okay, with the flathead screwdriver, we just wanna release these clips here, um, which is obviously the buttons for the, the lights. Now these are held on by a couple of retainers. If you put a little bit of um, stress on the back, as well as pushing the Clip retainers in, that should just release, like so, and that'll give you the buttons. 
Okay, now you want to transfer this over to the new unit that we've provided. As you can see, there are some retainers at the front. Just make sure they're in place. And then push down to click in. Obviously, you can flip it over on the other side just to make sure the retainers are in place correctly. You should hear a click and all the retainers should be flush and the button should fit flush in the unit. Make sure all of the retainers are now pushed on, like shown. And the next thing we're going to do is just transfer the components from the previous to the new one. Make sure it sits properly. And we just want to put the eight torque screws back in place and then obviously the top screws as well after. Remember there's eight on the bottom and then four in the next part. When you're placing that down, just make sure that none of the wires are actually kinked. So obviously you don't want to tighten down the screws with any wires underneath the unit. Now it's all done, you just want to reinstall the speakers. There's actually um, a point that shows where these need to go into the new unit as shown here. That shows you the correct direction that you need to put the speaker in. Make sure that all the retaining clips are in. Put the wire back on. Then reinstall the speaker on the other side again and use the guide shown, make sure it's in correctly. Again, just checking all of the retainers are holding it in properly. And then reinstalling that wire again. Next step is to fit the top speakers back in again. These fit in quite easily. We just use a um, screwdriver just to push them in. Can use the fingers. Make sure they're in correctly. They're not able to move anywhere. And then just do a final check over to make sure all the wires are in correctly. And there's nothing gonna get caught. Okay, so just check the buttons now, just to make sure everything moves smoothly. And then we are going to reinstall it shortly. You just wanna put the two connectors back in. So obviously using the same direction that we removed them. Make sure that the connectors actually click in. What we're going to do now is we're just going to check to make sure that all the buttons are working correctly. So obviously, the lights work from touch, as shown. And what you can also do, you can check the um, sun visor or the sunshade as well. Obviously, what you will need to do is make sure that the ignition is on in order to actually test this. There you go. So, obviously, if that's not working, there may be a connector which isn't in properly, so just make sure at this stage you do check it before you fully install. Okay, so now we need to put the three retainers in the back which guide it in. Once that's in place, you just push and it's then fitted. That's all done. So now remove the tape and it's all fitted like so. So this is what it looked like before without the sunglass holder. And obviously this is now Okay, so there you go guys, that's how you fit the um, sunglass holder. If you have any questions on how to fit it, please get in contact with us and we'll be happy to help. That's all for today's video, we'll see you on the next fitment guide.